I love franchises because they allow a story to evolve through different entries and present new ideas and possibilities. Personally, I love examples such as Yu-Gi-Oh, but there was always one that caught my eye, but I'd never looked into it until this year when I saw the anime adaptation of its first entry, Danganronpa the Animation. The plot of the Danganronpa franchise, for the most part, is a group of genius level high schoolers are locked in a specific location and told by a demonic teddy bear that the only way to escape is to murder a fellow student. There are then trials where the students have to work out who is the killer or they all die. What works for me about this adaptation is both the characters and the detective sides of the story. The characters may seem generic and stereotypical at first, but the more you see and learn about them, the more you grow to like them. Like the glorious bastard Byakuya or the gambler Celestia. While the game that the anime is based on went into more detail, the characters are good enough here to get through the series. As someone who's read the complete works of Arthur Conan Doyle, I love the detective aspect letting all the pieces of the puzzle fall into place in order to work out who is the killer in the end is so entertaining. How did they do it? How did they evade detection? And how can our heroes find the culprit through the web of information in front of them? Probably why Kirigiri was my favourite character she was the most intriguing from her gloved hands to her detective skills. It's more about learning about the characters through the series and letting the series punch you in the face when they're either killed or revealed to be a killer. Plus, Monokuma, the headmaster at Hope's peak. Don't forget to respect your headmaster. He's an entertaining antagonist as he steals the show whenever he's on screen. He does kind of lead into the comparison to the Saw franchise like Billy the Puppet, but Monokuma is way more fun being devious and villainous with his lies and manipulations beyond just being a mouthpiece for the mastermind. To compare this franchise to Saw, I think Danganronpa wins in terms of his characters, themes, and just colourful in design instead of dark and dirty. Despair has never looked more colourful. The amount of spin-offs created from Monokuma, including Monomi and the Monokov, shows the marketability and power of this character. Even the execution scenes, which I won't show because I want everyone to go into the story knowing nothing or a spectacle in terms of style and creativity every time they happen. I should also mention the production values, which are pretty high from my standpoint. I love the character designs. Each one is vibrant, colourful, and unique, which is what I look for in a good character design. Stand out from the crowd is what I'm saying. I am a Yu-Gi-Oh fan as I mentioned. The varied outfits and hairstyles help them stand out. I like to judge a character design by their outline. It's good if you can determine who it's based on just from that. I think for me, the main reason why I decided to dive into this franchise fully after seeing this series is how this year 2020 has been. It has been a miserable year for many, including myself, so seeing something that inspires hope beyond despair is uplifting to me. It's not the only theme that's in play for Danganronpa, but it's the one that stuck out the most, especially in this series. I also wanted to talk about this more as an adaptation of the first game. Now I know there are fans who believe that this adaptation fails because it doesn't go into as much detail on the characters as the game due to it being set up like a visual novel, but I still grew to like them. I think a full adaptation of the first game would have been hard on the pacing. It could have felt too slow so to keep the story moving in the 20 minute format cuts were made. Adaptations don't have to be exactly the same as the original. Look at Gus Van Sant's Psycho which is a shot for shot recreation of Hitchcock's original film. Why would you want to watch that when you could watch the original instead? Like a well-cooked meal, an adaptation needs several elements from the original source material to create a complete meal while trimming the fat. Plus, if it wasn't for this adaptation, then I wouldn't have gotten into the Danganronpa franchise, and I thank it for that. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more Danganronpa content, please subscribe and comment below because I have plans for the rest of the franchise. Oh, I can't wait for V3. Also, follow me on Twitter for the link in the description. Cheers for watching. I almost forgot the music is so good, I can't stop listening to the ending theme.